Who do you want to be in this world of cruelty and darkness, where pain is inevitable and nights are long? How do you navigate the ache of waiting to see where things will go, yearning for how things could possibly get better? It's true that we have all survived something. In many ways, we've all known pain and have learned to recoil from signs that we may feel it again. But life is about more than survival and floating by. While you dodge pain and suffering, do not forget to live. Do not wait for the sun to rise, because she has never failed to before. And there has never been a darkness that could not be snuffed out by the light. Who do you want to be in this world of opportunity and change, where nothing good or bad ever lasts but ebb and flow like ripples and waves in the ocean? How will you be a source of light and kindness, keeping the dark at bay for all those who are lucky enough to have you in their lives? I reflect on the privilege of helping, of holding a piece of someone's world in my hand, and see that every conversation is a chance to leave the world a better place than it was before. I think of all the nameless strangers and, the, and all their acts of kindness that have given them a home in my mind despite our lives only converging for one moment before branching infinitely away from each other. And I see how much power one person in one moment can have. I think of all the people who dedicated more than a moment to my well-being, and I know that the good things in this world are because of them, and I thank them. Cheers to the people who held my hand to shield me from scars they had on their own. Cheers to all the hours spent crying in my therapist's offices and how they were fucking there for me. Cheers to the friends who eased the pain of certain blows. To the people who have had to give that support to themselves. To the people who laugh and uplift others even though they're still searching for their own private smiles. To the people who stand up for others even if it costs their own well-being. To the people who met one source of darkness and dedicate their lives to snuffing it out. Whether they're firefighters whose own homes burned down. Surgeons who couldn't finish med school in time to save their own families. Teachers who know the value a mentor can have on someone's life. Therapists who themselves have stood with their toes on the edge of a cliff and wondered what the view would look like from the bottom. It's true that one person might make a mess that ten people must clean up, but I choose to be more inspired by those ten people then I am afraid of the one. Just because it's easier to make a mess than it is to clean it up doesn't mean the world is a mess that can't be cleaned. So who do you want to be in this world of beauty and love where people have only survived because of how love has carried us through generations, where people help each other? Whose hands will you hold as yours have been held? What cycles of pain will you break? What doors will you kick open so others can walk through them freely? How will you stretch out your own hands and lift up those around you so that they are held higher than the sky, so high up their toes barely reach the fires lit beneath us? Do not wait for the sun to rise. She has never failed us before. You do not have to wait for her to snuff out the darkness. She will eventually, but you get to be a part of that light that cuts through all of this pain today.